Yali Nadar. We are supposed to talk about Hazrat Khadija today. But before we get to Hazrat Khadija, let's come to Quran first and see the role or the higher ranking woman in Quran and see how they were elevated not in the eyes of the people but in the eyes of the God. So if you go all the way back and that is the most surprising discovery for me it was that we hear about Bibi Hawa all the time. But did you guys know the Bibi Hawa by name is never mentioned in Quran? Never. Not even once. How is she mentioned? The wife of Adam. Uski Zoja, Uski Bibi, Uski Companion. That's how is mentioned in Quran. And there is a reason for that and we will come back to that. Okay? Remember, there's a question for you. There, how come Bibi Hawa by name is never mentioned in Quran? But always referred to as Adam's wife, Adam's second Zoja, or Adam's companion. The second person or woman mentioned in Quran is mother of Musa. And we have all heard the stories of mother of Musa that when Firon he was taking all the boys and killing all the uh, boys, she got worried and she prayed to Allah that I'm about to give up birth to a boy, mm -hmm. remember she has not given the birth yet. Mm -hmm. I'm about to give a birth and there was no ultrasound at that time either. Mm -hmm. Okay. How would I protect him? Mm -hmm. And Allah said, don't worry. So my question is, who speaks to Allah? Mm -hmm. An ordinary person mm -hmm. or somebody who has a rank in Hudu Dadi. Why am I bringing this up? So when we read Quran, when we listen to Ginan, when we uh, read and listen to Mullah's Farman, there's, we need to connect this thing. We cannot just listen as we listen to a, a song. We cannot read like we are reading a newspaper. We should be able to connect these dots. So Allah guides her and say, if you trust me, then trust me, I will save him, I will be guide, guidance over him. And then he tells her how she's going to put that boy a baby in that crib and you know put it in the water and Allah did the rest. Took him all the way to uh, Asiya and uh, Firon's wife and sh she protected him and all that. Everything else is history. So she was the first one in Quran that mentioned that talking to Allah, mm -hmm. a woman, okay? Only a man only a man, single man, that mentioned in Quran, talking to Allah was Musa himself. Mm -hmm. Because Musa's title is Kalimullah. Mm -hmm. Kalimullah, person who talk, was talking to Allah. Not that all the other prophets and Imam are not directly connected to Allah, but he's the only man mentioned in Quran speaking to, the, to Allah. But look at all these women now we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. So number one was mother of Musa. Second was mother of Maryam. So when she 
she is pregnant, she starts talking to Allah. So when I am given a birth to a child, mm -hmm. I will dedicate him to the Hekel. Hekel is the Jamaat Khana today. Mm -hmm. Tradition of that time was that if you are the servant of Allah, mm -hmm. you give your firstborn to the church, to Jamaat Khana. Mm -hmm. And the tradition is still going on today. You see all these boys, they are always in the church, they are always running around, mm -hmm. doing all these things. You see them on bicycle running around and you know distributing a uh, Bible and all that. Mm -hmm. The same concept. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So they will live in a boarding house in the church mm -hmm. from the birth. Mm -hmm. And they will stay there and they will become a priest and you know. So mother of Maryam is talking to Allah and saying when my firstborn I will give that to the Hekel but to her surprise, when a child was born, it was not a he, it was a she. So she complains to Allah, say, is a girl equal to a boy? And Allah says, I accept him, her as you had wished. So you do what you had intended to do. And Maryam was the first woman or girl ever dedicated to a hacker. Mm -hmm. Even before she was born, Zachariah, the prophet of that time, mm -hmm. started to build a hujra. Hujra means a small mm -hmm. cottage mm -hmm. on the second floor. Everybody was laughing. So why are you building a cottage on second floor? If if the son of the Hana, Hana was the name of Maryam's mother, mm -hmm. when he comes, he will live with the rest of the boys. Mm -hmm. And he said, I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And he keep building and people keep laughing. Mm -hmm. What they did not know, there, there was not going to be a boy who will be coming to this heckle, it would be a girl. Mm -hmm. So he had to build that a separate place for Bibi Maryam. Mm -hmm. So back to Bibi Maryam's mother, she was the second lady mentioned in Quran speaking to Allah. Third one is Maryam herself. Now here I'm going to pose a question. Have you ever seen a prophet being a woman? Look at all this prophet we have. Have you ever seen a prophet being a woman? No, no? We don't see that. Right? All male. All male. If you look at the Quran, in detail, with a very fine eye, go to Surah Mu'minin, that's Surah number 23. Go to ayat number 50, at the end, and the very first word in ayat number 51. Allah says, Maryam is the Pagambar. And I will ask Nevi to pull up that ayat for us. Or if you have a Quran, you can pull that ayat too. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier. That when we read, we must not read as a, as a newspaper. We must read with a very uh, fine eye, you know, in detail. So we understand the key points, otherwise we will miss it. Alright, so what does it say? Surah 23, <coughs> Ayat 50 Or humne Maryam ke bete Or unki maa ko nishani banaya Or unko ek unchi jaga par rehne ke Unchi jaga par jo rehne ke laik thi Or jahaan paani jari tha panah di 
اے پیغمبروں پاکیزہ چیزیں کھاؤ اور نکلے اے پیغمبروں امپرور او پروفٹس نہ پروفٹ سو اللہ سوگم بال دی سن آف مریم اینڈ ہز مدر ہی کیپ بوتھ آف دیم آن اے ہائر گراؤنڈ ویئر واٹر واز اویلیبل رائٹ And then he said, O oh, prophets, mm-hmm. in plural, you see how you have to look, read this ayat and how you have to look at this ayat? If you don't, don't pay attention to it, then you will miss it completely. He's talking about both of them. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now come back to third person. And that was in the fourth. So we have the mother of Musa, Mother of Maryam, Maryam herself. Now we're going to talk about Asiya. Who was Asiya? Furon's wife. Not a believer in, in people's eyes. But she was the one who nourished Musa. She is talking to God. And what is she saying? Oh Allah. Make me a home in paradise near you. And Allah gives that prayer a place in Quran after 2,000 years of that event. It was the time of Musa, right? 2,000 years later, Muhammad comes, Quran comes, and he gives that place in Quran If, if you see a person's prayer in Quran, meaning those were the prayers that were accepted by Allah, otherwise it would not be placed in Quran. So there is another key of Quran. All the prayers that you will see in Quran. Only reason is placed in Quran because those were the prayer accepted by Allah. Now, this is out of, out of the subject, but can you tell me if Asya had asked for home in paradise near Allah, where would she be? Where her home would be? Can there be two homes, Allah's home and Asya's home? So what she was asking in code word? Make me Fanafi Allah. So her home became Allah's home and Allah's home became her home. That is close, close to Allah's home. So she would be in the clock, what? One and two at that point. So she will be right there at the highest point where one and two meets on the, on the clock. The clock is our beautiful example. It's so easy to understand places when we look at the clock, right? Mm-hmm. So that's what she was asking. Don't leave me in any other number. Bring me right there as one and two. Okay. So now we have a four woman that in Quran talks about that they were speaking to Allah. Now let's come to Vivi Khatiya. That was our uh, subject today. Mm-hmm. Khatija, she, she is supposed to be richest woman in uh, the Arabia or at that time Arabia. And she picks Muhammad to be her manager trade manager mm-hmm. and Muhammad goes to different countries and different areas and does all this business for her. She's really, really rich. And then she proposed to Muhammad, he's 25 year old, she's 40 year old. Most people don't know that Bibi Khatija was in the family of Muhammad. 
she was not some other outside outsider or an outside woman. She is also in family of Muhammad, but not cousins or that close. Mm -hmm. But she was still in that same kabila uh, uh, tribe from the same tribe. And if somebody goes into the books of Ududeddin or Daif, mm -hmm. they will find a map. And I believe she was from the, there was one of the Imam, which is the sixth or seventh Imam from Abu Talib up. Mm -hmm. And from there, this two uh, map goes down. And Kribi Khatija is from the son, 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 son of one of the Imams. And then other one was uh, Abu Mutalib, Abdullah and Muhammad. So there were back, six cousins back. So she proposed to Mola, uh, Prophet Muhammad and they get married. And then nikah was performed by Abu Talib himself. And their khutbah, the nikah's khutbah, you should find and you should read. It's a beautiful, beautiful khutbah. Is full of prayers of Abu Talib for the Muhammad and Khadija. What other thing that we don't normally read about or know about? When Muhammad, the very first time come from Garehira, and very first time when he received a wahi. He comes home and he's shivering because he was going through the spiritual enlightenment. Mm -hmm. And when he comes home, look at the word Bibi Khatija is telling him when he comes home. She says, I have been waiting for this day all my life. And then she utters, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. The kalma was first time uttered by her. What she said? Allah is one and you are his prophet. She declared his prophethood. She declared it. What do you mean she been waiting for this for a long time? How did she know that this day was coming? Mm -hmm. If she was just an ordinary woman, she would not have known that. Mm -hmm. Again, if we read our Dai's book, comes to find out that she was the hujjat of Abu Talib. Mm -hmm. As Abu Talib was the last Imam of the cycle of Isa. In the cycle of Isa, he was the last Imam and Musakkar. And she was his Hujjat. And after Abu Talib, she also became the Hujjat of the Natik Prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. And not only that, she was the sealer of all, of all of the hujjat. What do you mean sealer? One who conforms. In the old time, if you remember, when, uh, when you have a, a notary binding papers, you put a seal on it. Oh, she, will be the one, she was the seal of all of the hujjat. How many hujjat? 40 hujjat before her. Meaning she was the final hujjat of the previous 40 hujjat between Adam and Prophet Muhammad. And that is the reason she has a title, Kubra. Khatijatul Kubra. Khatija the Great. So not only that she was the hujjat of the last Imam of the last cycle, she also becomes the hujjat 
of the Natik of the time, Prophet Muhammad. Next thing may also be surprising, she was also the teacher of Prophet Muhammad. So all the spiritual knowledge the Prophet Muhammad had received, he received from her, his teacher, Bibi Khatija. She was a teacher, he was a student before they got married. Remember, he was one of those students who not only had listened and followed every single teaching, but he went all the way to become a Natik. How did he become a Natik? Because he had this miyazam from the Imam of the time, Abu Talib. Otherwise, when he was going to Gara Hira, and if he was doing the Ibadat, you cannot have, do Ibadat without this miyazam. Some people think that there was a Budhparasi idealism before Prophet Muhammad. If there was a case, why would he go and do ibadat? Shouldn't he not be following everybody else of that time? No. He was from the family of Imam and they were on the right path. And he had a two great teacher and guidance. Abu Talib as a guide and Bibi Khatija as a teacher. And when he came home, she already knew what he was about to become because she was teaching and guiding him toward that final goal. She was the one. Bibi Khatija is also the mother of Fatima and we know the rank of Bibi Fatima and she become the mother of all of the Imams. Mm. And she becomes the wife of Imam Asas Mullah Ali. Mm. And only woman name is used for our Imamah's kingdom ship is Fatima, right? Fatmi Dor or Fatmi Khilafat. Mm. It's due to that part is due to that part, because she is the mother of all Imams and daughter of Vivi Khatija. So we should not think, and please do read their article, because they will explain, and in their article you will see the name of their Imam, yes. <laughs> six generation back. Okay. So you would know which Imam, two sons, and then those, their son, and their son, their son, and their son, after six generations, is Abu uh, Muttalib, and then Abdullah, and then on the other side, Bibi Khatija. Okay. So we see there is a lot of respect and a lot of uh, emphasis put on, on women in Quran. Like I said, the only one Natik in Quran shown that he was talking to Allah, but then on the other hand, there are four women shows talking to Allah in Quran. Mm -hmm. Not one, not two, but three and four. Compared to only one, Musa, showing that he was talking to Allah. Remember, at the place of Noor, at the rank of highest rank, they are all one and same. And look at today. Look at Bibi Zara today. Look at the work she is doing for Imam. Who do you think her rank is? At least the Hujat, right? But she is the oldest daughter of Imam. So what rank do you think she will have? Actually, she is the Imam in Musoda as an interested Imam. Because she cannot become an Imam as a girl or woman, so she will return the trust back to whom? Next son. And if he cannot become an Imam for whatever reason, then he becomes Imam Musoda 
and return the trust to his next brother. But the oldest child of Imam is the Bab or Hujjat e Azam. So we should not take her lightly because she is a girl. Because she is an interested Imam today and she will return their trust to her brother as the Imam and Musakkar. So I think this is good enough here unless you have more question about uh, Bibi Khatija and you must read and understand those two things that uh, Niyama Sahiba shared yesterday. Correct? Read both of those articles in English and easy to uh, listen and understand. And then if you have any question, please do ask or send in our text. Yeah,